sugar. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Barbarian Film Club where we're drinking diet, not diet coke, the normal coke which I actually really don't like so I'm going to put that down. It is really It's sick. horrible. You know how to drink this all the time, it's gross. It's really, really gross. I'm going to be drinking this. You can tell we're not sponsored. Mm -mm. Pepsi on the other hand, please. Anyway, today we're going to be reacting to Stranger Things Series mm. 3. I'm very Amazing, excited isn't it? to talk about this because I watched this in one day. The whole lot? Yeah. Oh, I said to myself I was only going to watch four episodes. I ended up watching it all in one day. You know when we talk about you not using your time properly? Yeah, it was one day. How, how long did it take you to watch all? Eight hours. Eight. Let's start off. Sip that tea. You are not getting sponsored by Pepsi Max. Doesn't matter what you do with that. Okay, so, number one. Okay. What do you think? Amazing. First couple episodes I was like, it's dragging a little bit. Not dragging, but it's a bit slow. Mm -hmm. And then it really picked up, and then I couldn't stop watching. I agree. I felt, this is my overall feeling of all the episodes. One, two, three. I was thinking, is this going to be as good as the old ones? Because the mm. seri series one was fantastic. It was amazing. So I was thinking, then four kicked in, and he started getting monsters and this, that, and the other. And I thought, brilliant. He went, and then it mm -hmm. went, shot up. Yeah. Six was dragged on. I thought six was too long. I didn't understand why. It felt like it was... I can't remember what, which one was... It six. just felt like there was one episode too many for me. I just felt like it was Do too... Do you think? Yeah, because, because, because seven and eight were great. But anyway, yeah. overall, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. There's three different storylines in this. So you have... Um, who? No, the Schnapp, but who's the, who's the... What's his name? What's his name? All right, what's his name? You know, the, Noah Schnapp, whatever his name, you know the guy who's with the funny teeth? What's his name? The one that can't speak, he speaks like a cat. You Wait. are useless today! Never mind. You say the guy who can't speak, who is that? Who are you talking about? What character? This is making amazing television-ish. People at home will be sitting, this is fantastic. Oh my god, you're so difficult, both yes. of you. No. Me, what have I got to do? Oh, you? shut up! <laughs> You're so annoying! Just yeah, shush, be quiet, we don't ask you any questions. <laughs> okay. These are my children. So, what I really liked about this is there was three different storylines that came together right at the end, and I think that kept you watching. It gave a flow in the whole series because you were so intrigued to see what each of these were doing. Did that not happen in the other ones, though? No. I think they did. No, it, I wasn't, think the like last one had... it wasn't like this. Yeah, I think it did. No, it wasn't. And the first one definitely had strands like this. Well, I thought it was a lot more prominent than this. Maybe. No, this definitely. Because they, they, they made it. Okay, quick um... answer question because you're talking too much. Okay, so okay, there's just... other things in there that are interesting. Yeah. Okay, so they do have sort of uh, up to date, mm -hmm. same sex sort of references in there, which is interesting, mm -hmm. which is trying to be in the series up to date. They also had a raft of film references, which are fantastic, really, From Back to the Future. absolutely, Every to the point, really humorous, really funny. They had, I don't know if they got paid for that. Do they get paid they, for they that? They were sponsored we by get, Coke. Why don't we get paid? Oh, they, did they, they were, were sponsored, they sponsored by Coke. Yeah, they were sponsored oh, by Coke. Okay. Coca-Cola actually had Stranger Things as the Oh, advert. wow. Okay, well. One day, <laughs> when I make a short film, I'll get, spot, get sponsored by... Actually, I don't like the taste of it anymore. I don't like the taste of it. Nice. Like, and maybe, I love, I love ting. Then, okay, so that, that, that's cool. So you have yeah. those elements which are really fresh and yeah. really good. However, the, the, the feel of it, and I think that's down to the music, was pretty much like the other two series that were previous. I mean, it had it that wasn't mood. It wasn't different in that sense. It was nice that you knew you were watching the a, same But a little bit too, maybe a bit funny or twee at times. Wait, what does that mean? A little bit softer. So, you know, in the first, the very first series, the characters are it wasn't as No, it wasn't as dark. That, I think that's the main yeah. thing. It was not as dark. So, for the next series, which hopefully there is one. But there will, has to be. Of course there does. Well, you never know. They haven't been confirmed yet, have they? No, no, but the, the ending leads you into yes. the next one. So, I, for the next series, I, I hope that they make it a bit darker. For me. And uh, we've got to say something about the ending, because yeah. I completely, utterly... 100% must be the only person on the planet. Yes. But I think Twig, that maybe Hopper. I don't is know in the how Russia you prison. didn't fig. I didn't. I don't know how you didn't figure out. It was so in your face. I just presumed he'd been. <laughs> yeah, but when they said about the American. Like... Yeah, but he's not the only American in the world. Could be Rambo in there, couldn't it? I don't know. <laughs> so Hopper hopefully is alive and. It has um, to be really, I think. To yeah, make it as... I think so. Also, I don't. I think it's really unfair on Winona Ryder's 
character. Well, okay, well that's the other thing to talk about. When I, one thing I didn't like, I would say, and I'm going to knock off a point for this, mm-hmm. is that I really liked Winona Ryder's original character, which she was a strong woman, and she was fighting, yeah. fighting hard life with home, with the kids, and she just became a little bit... Soft. Soft and fuzzy, and a bit mm. comedy. And actually her in the fight throwing things and missing. She's quite boring as a character now, I find. It's, well, yeah, because she's not as hard. She's not strong. She doesn't stand out. And I think that's... Which is a shame because she's probably the most well-known out of yeah, all Yeah, and parts. she's had some surgery or something since then. She looked a bit like... Well, oh, I mean, that's not the problem. The problem is the character... Hollywood. Char- the, the, the character needs to be a bit more stronger. Like, I, I don't think... I think just bring it back to where it was. Or kill her. <laughs> Maybe she's the American. Maybe she is the American. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she's that dog thing. Like that. The Demogorgon. That's good. I, yeah. There was one other question I got for you. Yeah. Favourite character? Yeah, because I asked you that. No, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> again. Okay, so my favourite character, is, again, I think it's Hopper. I think it's got to be Hopper. He's funny. That's why I was really sad when I thought he died. But he's funny. He's just got a whole, a whole package. Well, that's, strong, that's strong character. Man. That is. He's, he's got really he, fat as well. He, <laughs> he did awesome. get quite fat. It's one of my drinks. Second favourite character. She's Millie Bob Brown, so an yeah. L. But it's just, her acting is amazing. Oh, there's one thing about L. Oh, her powers. Her powers are gone. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, her powers are gone. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> yeah, her powers but are gone. But they'll come back. They're gonna come back. And next there's no way they're not gonna come four, back. The monster's gonna take over the world. Everyone's dying. I reckon it, and suddenly L like, will die at some point though. I reckon she will eventually. No, the nosebleeds all the time. It's quite hard work. Doing too much coke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have a special guest. Yes. So we need to strap okay. him on. So we have a little special guest for you guys. Let's bring him on. And we have Aaron. So Aaron, what did you think of the series? Yeah, it was... Uh, I mean, I watched all of it over a few days quite intensely. So, you know, I mean, not as much as you. Yeah, I was a bit not. I spaced really. myself out a bit, but... Um, yeah, no, I, I liked it. I liked it. Um, what were your strong points of the series and your negatives? Um, Did it have any, in your opinion? I didn't really think about that too much. So you just enjoyed it? Yeah, really. I was only afterwards when I was seeing reviews and stuff when people were pointing out the complaints they had with it. I just, I just I enjoyed it. What did um, you say that we didn't talk about? Alexi. How could you mess up Alexi? Oh my gosh, Alexi! <laughs> what yeah. a great character. That was a brilliant character. Yeah. Every, everyone, I was just seeing everyone in memes and stuff, like the most innocent guy ever. <laughs> Him when he goes to the like American carnival and he's like, this is yeah. food. <laughs> and, and the Woody wood- Woodpecker. And he's... Oh, so funny. I thought it was amazing. Uh, yeah. Like His character was so good. I, I thought for a bit that he was going to go back to the Russians. I didn't think he was going to stay at yeah, the beginning. I wasn't sure. And that's what was good about this. It kept you on your toes. so sad when they killed him. Oh, it was, it was like, really sad. Is that it? <laughs> yeah, okay, so, so, so Aaron, talk to me about the references. Yeah, so obviously this season, more than any of them, has had a lot of references. A lot of references. So just, uh, I think the biggest ones... Uh, obviously, Back to the Future, that was mm. like in, the, in everyone's face because they actually showed parts of the films. I think in the first episode, there's Day of the Dead. Um, I didn't even see that. Yeah, uh, I, I think, you know, when they when they first went into the cinema? I think that was Day oh, of the Dead. Oh, yeah. Not yeah, that yeah. I've seen Day yeah. of the Dead. Yeah, but no, I think you're um, right. You had uh, Die Hard in there when they're crawling through the vents. Oh, That's yeah. like shot for shot. Uh, you had quite a few Indiana Jones references. One, when they're tied up in the chair, that's a reference to um, The Last Crusade. I noticed that. And also, uh, you, Ooh, know, you, you, know when they hold, you know when they hold the door with yeah. that vial? That's like Indiana Jones when they're oh my sli- gosh. sliding underneath. Um, God, they, just, they literally just it, ripped off I all th- these films. No, honestly, <laughs> I'm I think, joking, that's I think great. It, this season, it's kind of impossible to say all of them, and I'm sure there's like so many that people yeah, have missed. Yeah. Like one that no one's really been talking about, but I've noticed is... The alarm in the Russian base is almost exactly the same alarm as in the Death Star. That's what mm. I've, I've recognized yeah. that. Yeah. I wasn't yeah. sure like if that's what it was. That's what the yeah. Star Wars yeah. reference was yeah. then. But yeah, Amazing. there was a few others, but yeah, I mean, there was loads. Literally every episode. It really loads. is the ultimate sci-fi yeah. film. I, uh, a sci-fi I don't, series, I, don't know about sci-fi. I think. Like Arnie. You guys say Arnie. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, the Terminator reference with... Um, what was that bit? 
with the, the Russian guy, the killer guy, that's supposed to be Terminator. Oh, yeah. In every way. Get the same gun. Uh, in yeah. every way. There's so many. Uh, also, there was, there was that weird song. Uh, did, did you get... Did well, you... the carnival one. No, the, 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 you know, when he, when Dustin sung with his girlfriend. Yeah, that was from, I, I don't know um, what that was from, from it was a never ending story or something. Yeah, but, yeah I'd yeah. never watched that, but it's, it's I, I looked it up, apparently it was something interesting. All right, so, um, <clears throat> what was, what would you give it out of 10 then? Seven. Seven. Uh, I mean, l- looking back at it, it's not as good as the first series. It's a lot sillier, as you guys said. It's, it's not as serious. It's not, it's less of a horror now. It's more become yeah. a bit more mainstream and as a result it kind of yeah. slips a bit but it was like I said I watched it first time and I was hooked so yeah it was interesting. It did its I'll job. I'll give it a then. solid seven. Oh cool. Mm. Okay. Right we're gonna bring dad back. Oh blimey. <laughs> Wish you wouldn't do that. It's <laughs> my powers what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I don't <work. laughs> Okay so what are you gonna give it out of ten? We're quite positive. Yeah. So we're like seven out of ten, eight out of ten, seven out. It's a bit boring. I'm going to go and be horrible and give it a 6.5. Wow. I'm knocking off a point because Winona Ryder's character was... I really loved that in the first series and I think they diluted it too much. They made her silly and I'm I'm not sure about that. Yeah. So anyway, out of 10. I think... (laughs) I... It's Team America. (laughs) I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. Ooh, it's no. super high. The only one thing I would say was the Winona Ryder thing, and that's my only point that I'm going to knock off. Because did you, did you I not feel one, two, three? It took a bit of time to get there. It wasn't. It wasn't enough that it bothered me. Okay. It didn't bother me at all. I did, did enjoy it. Um, episode one, two, three were a bit slow for me. I loved four and five, six, six and a half. It seemed a bit unnecessary, and seven and eight were fantastic. Well done. Duffer Brothers. Brothers? Oh, yeah. Duffel, Duffel, Duffel Coat Brothers. Brothers. D- well, cu- well. Duffer Brothers. Well, well, I can't speak. It's the Coke. It's full of drugs. I tell you what, the original Coke. They probably, was a, they probably original, put Coke in there. Original it. Coke had cocaine, cocaine in it. I know. It did. And then only in 1982 <laughs> did they remove it when 1982? children were drinking. Did you eat anything in your eight hour marathon watching all these? Yeah. I ordered Nando's. It's great. Did you actually stop playing them? No, <laughs> I didn't. So you what, literally, what time did you start? I think I started quite late in the day because I didn't think I was going to, I was, I woke up late and then I had a shower and then I put it on at four and I finished at like three in the morning or something. And I had a de- delivery, well, yeah, but the delivery has, you have to leave the screen. No, I left it running. He no, came to my door. It was fine. But it was great. I recommend. So yeah. anyway, yeah, I'd highly recommend this series. Please go watch it if you haven't. Let us know what you think about it in the comment section below. We'd like to read your comments. And yeah, we'll see you guys very soon in another Barbarian Film Club with uh, us crazy family. Bye.